speech is to inform you that not all sources of caffeine are bad. Uh, I'm going to show you some benefits uh, that we can get out of caffeine. Um, so, I mean, who here, you know, wakes up every morning without any help? Well, no, not me. Um, I actually need my cup of coffee every morning in order to get the day started. Um, most people, or well, some people, uh, especially in the United States, they depend on this source to to continue their day. Especially, you know, a lot of us go to school, have full-time jobs, you know, have to go home, cook meals, uh, do homework, all that stuff. So, um, you know, caffeine obviously is a stimulant that activates the brain that is responsible for. Uh, it is observed uh, rapidly uh, and distributed throughout the body within the first hour that you consume it. Um, it also, you know, helps uh, relieve, it actually helps relieve stress. Um, um, coffee, uh, one cup of coffee is about 250 milligrams um, that will actually um, help you live a longer life if you have a coffee, a cup of coffee each day. Um, it helps prevent headaches. It increases the effects of some medications as well. Uh, women who drink two to three cups of coffee a day have a 15% lower risk of depression. Um, Similar, you know, to other substances that we get addicted to, we have to learn to not abuse caffeine. If we use it, or if we abuse it, um, there will be, you know, side effects to it, of course. Um, it actually also helps working out. If you have um, some source of caffeine before uh, your work, your workout, um, it reduces muscle pain. Uh, of course, energy drinks are not good sources that we should use. Um, turkey jerky is the <laughs> source of caffeine that actually has 75 milligrams, same as a Red Bull. I don't know how that would taste. And the uh, excitement, of course, um, it's the same as a Starbucks frappuccino with espresso. Mm. And side effects are you know, uh, you get shaky. Um, I guess that's when you first start taking caffeine. Once you get used to it, that kind of goes away. Um, it is harder to, to go to sleep. Um, but, it, I mean, if you have to pull it all night or not, it's obviously going to help you stay awake. Um, it raises blood pressure. Um, it causes headaches if you abuse it. Um, you'll get dehydrated. And then the health risks, um, if you have heart problems, then you obviously you shouldn't be drinking it because it causes anxiety. And if you uh, abuse it or you drink too much of it, it could actually end up killing you. If you become addicted, um, you, should, um, you should give your body a break, but don't do it, you know, cold turkey. Do it step by step, maybe one to two weeks. Um, don't take any sources of caffeine, um, and then your body will adjust to it again. So when you start taking it again, then you won't need that much, uh, a big dose of caffeine in order to function. And drawbacks are, of course, you know, headaches. Um, when it becomes severe, it could, uh, it could come to vomiting and nausea. And um, the first cup of coffee is actually the, so, uh, the first cup should be taken quickly um, so it can get your body, um, it can give your body that boost of energy that you need and throughout the day it just takes small amounts. Um, uh, but you do need to remember to, just like anything else, depending on your weight, um, be careful how much you take of it. So when it's smaller, you know, maybe two cups will do it. And, so you just need to be careful and, and learn how to drink it properly so you don't have those negative side effects to it.